Hi, I'll be presenting a case of US guided cholelocodinostomy for a patient with obstructive jaundice with inoperable ampullary malignancy. 37 year old male presented with postprandial epigastric pain since two months, jaundice with pruritus since one month, anorexia weight loss. His past history was significant for perforation peritonitis in June 2019. Records were limited, likely duodenal ulcer perforation. Labs were significant for bilirubin of 19.4 with a direct fraction of 16.4. AST and ALT were elevated to 324 and 998 respectively. ALKFOS elevated to 898, anemia with hemoglobin of 6 and TLC count was normal at 7400. CT abdomen was obtained and showed intrahepatic dilation and this was felt to be from a duodenal or ampullary mass. Peritoneal METs were identified and FNAC of a peritoneal nodule showed adenocarcinoma. We initially planned to perform an ERCP and the duodenal scope was advanced to second part of duodenum where as you see there's a large um, ulcerated infiltrative mass uh, with appearance suggestive of malignancy. So we decided to proceed with EUS-guided cholidocodiognostomy as the ampulla could not be identified. So under the echoendoscope was advanced to duodenal bulb where the common bile duct was identified as shown here. Uh, a 19 gauge needle was used to gain access to the proximal CBD. As you see here, it was diffusely dilated a 0.025 inch guide wire was advanced. Initially, uh, it went distally and then it was repositioned and advanced into the intrahepatic ducts. Uh, next, a six French cystotome was used to create a fistula tract between duodenum and CBD. And subsequently, a partially covered metal stent was placed across the duodenal wall and deployed successfully as you see here, across the duodenal wall right there. And there was copious amount of bile that uh, drained following the procedure, as you see right there. A fluoroscopy view showed a nicely placed duodenal stent across the duodenal wall with the proximal end in the common hepatic duct and the distal end in the duodenal bulb. Patient had no complications, had resolution of LFTs over the next week with uh, significant improvement in bilirubin levels. Uh, nasogestional feeding tube was placed because the patient did not have the um, finances for a duodenal stent placement during this visit, with plans to place this in the follow-up visit. Patient was started on chemotherapy on follow-up four weeks later. The patient